Looking for me telescope Take me on this journey home I don't wanna wait no more Lay me down behind the moon Tell me you'll be on the soon I don't wanna wait no more What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hi! My name is Alex and thank you so much for clicking on this video. So this is a super overdue video. If you follow my Instagram, you'll know that I posted a little sneak peek of my new apartment in around October. I promised you guys that it was coming soon and it's January 2021 now, so... Super overdue, but yeah, I did film this moving vlog for you guys from beginning to end You know from searching for apartments going apartment hunting finding the apartment packing moving in I showed the whole deal the whole package in this vlog So stay tuned for this video. So anyway, I am currently here in my new space Filming this intro video. It's been about two to three months since I moved in with my sister. So in order for us to find our apartment, we had to do a little bit of searching. So I'm just gonna walk you guys through the process here in this intro right now. So basically the apartment hunting process took about a month for me. We started searching for apartments at the end of September. Um, I started out by searching online on Korean real estate marketplace apps and websites and stuff. So the two main apps I used was Chikbang um, and Tabang. They were really, really good. I would search on those platforms for like days and save all the apartments that I really liked. And then the next step of that was contacting the real estate agents to see a couple apartments. We were able to find our new place on October 10th. Once we found this place, we started preparing to move in right away and we officially moved in on October 26th. So what we were looking for in an apartment when we were doing the whole apartment hunting process was one, we really wanted to find a place with two separate rooms or at least two like separate spaces so that my sister and I would have a little bit more personal space from each other. Number two, we really wanted to find a place with more like white walls, more of that Scandinavian minimalistic vibe. Both my sister and I really really love Scandinavian houses, interior, design. Number three, we really wanted to find an apartment that was located in a quieter neighborhood or area, a lot closer to nature as well because both Emily and I love going on long walks, long walks in, nature. in nature, especially having lived in Gangnam for so long where there are so many people, there's so many motorcycles, there's so many cars 24-7. You even have trouble sleeping because you hear them all night. Number four, we really wanted a place with more natural light and better lighting in general. And number five we were more lenient on this one but we were definitely looking for a bigger kitchen because both Emily and I love making food at home that was really important to us just a bigger kitchen or at least a semi bigger kitchen <laughs> so the whole process combined I think for the apartment hunting part we looked at apartments for about two days and then as soon as we found this apartment we're like oh my god this is the one we put in a deposit right away to keep it on hold so that no one else will take it because one of the things that I've experienced in Korea is that if you find a place you like you have to you know like call dibs you literally have to call dibs you have to put a deposit or something so that it's not going to be sold to anyone else because apartments sell really quickly here in Korea guys or at least in Seoul it sells really quickly when I first moved to Seoul I was looking for apartments and I found one that I really really liked but then I didn't know that places sold so fast I was kind of hesitant I wanted to like think on it at least like at least sleep on it think about it a little bit but then like 10 minutes after I'd seen the place I lost it to another person who took it right away so you have to be really really fast in your decisions so it's also important to definitely go around and see a lot of apartments in Seoul so that you're very sure of which apartment you like all right guys so that's about it for the intro and let's get straight into the video we just came to the Budongsan and we're gonna walk to the first apartment that we're gonna have a look at. Super excited to see the first location. Apartment number one. This was a newly built apartment that no one had moved into yet. We found this apartment on Tabang. When we entered and saw the inside of the apartment, we quickly realized that this was not the apartment we had seen on the pictures and it looked very different. 
Apparently the real estate agent had used photos from another apartment for the listing so the apartment was not what we were expecting to see at all. So we were kind of confused and a bit disappointed. The one we saw in pictures had a much bigger kitchen and living room space but as you can see here the kitchen in this apartment is small. But anywho, this was a two bedroom apartment. The space was very clean and white, which we thought was nice, but it wasn't exactly what we were looking for. The windows were quite small, the lighting wasn't the best, and there wasn't enough storage space at all. And since we literally own way too many things, we were looking for a place with lots of storage space. The real estate agent then said that she had another house in mind that she thought we might like, so she brought us over to the next apartment. Apartment number two. When we arrived, we were greeted by the landlord who showed us around. She started out by showing us a one room apartment. We instantly loved the apartment. We loved the whiteness of it. The designs were very modern and beautiful. And I love that there's like this glass window divider between the bedroom and the living room space. And it was awesome that there were these huge windows. There was also like a living room space with a TV and desk included. There was also a makeup table included with lots of storage space. And there was also storage behind the mirrors too, which we thought was pretty cool. That's the kitchen and there was a built-in refrigerator. The kitchen is quite small but there was a table you could pull out so that you can make food on the pull-out table or even eat on it so you don't need to get a separate dining table. All in all the apartment was very petite so it would be cute if it was just me but living with Emily I think we needed a bigger space. The bathroom was one of the things I was in love with the most. As you can see it's really really beautiful. I love the marble. We really like this apartment but since it was a one room we would still be a bit crammed living together. It was definitely the perfect apartment fit for one person to live in. Then we saw apartment number three. This was another apartment in the same building with one bedroom, a living room, and kitchen. As you can see, this apartment was bigger than the previous one we saw. The bathroom was slightly bigger, the kitchen was bigger too. When we saw this apartment, we really liked it. Once again, the beautiful bathroom. They also gave us the option to install a glass between the shower and the toilet, which we definitely wanted because we do not like it when water splashes all over the place and all over the toilet. I'm not sure why they have that in Korea, but it's something that's very common in Korean houses. This is the closet. Again, lots of storage space. Sorry, the focus is off. Then we have the refrigerator and the kitchen, which as you can see is a lot bigger than the apartment before. And then there's the bedroom. The bedroom included a styler closet, which sanitizes, removes odor, and steam cleans your clothes, which we thought was amazing. We really love this apartment and considered moving into this one. However, the one thing we didn't quite like about this apartment type was that the window in the living room was completely blocked by another building so we wouldn't have proper sunlight streaming in. But nevertheless, it was a very cute apartment. We really loved it. Okay, and then we saw this apartment. Apartment number four. This apartment was not even supposed to be shown to anyone yet as they weren't finished building it But the landlord was like, okay, you guys will be the first ones to see this I'll make an exception for you guys and as soon as we saw this apartment guys Let me just say we fell in love. We love the classic white European looking wall panels The bathroom was beautiful again the marble, we loved it. There was a separate bedroom with a huge closet space, plus the styler closet I mentioned earlier, which was perfect for us since we have a lot of clothes. This apartment also has a lot of windows. There was a nice big window in the bedroom, and that big window right in the living room was just something that we fell in love with as soon as we saw it. We were just like, wow, the light is just streaming in. It's just beautiful. And then there's another window upstairs as well. Here's a loft. They had this small room here, which was made to be like a glam room, like a makeup room. And then we even have this nice balcony. We were honestly shocked when we saw this place. I was in shock because I have never seen an apartment like this in South Korea where the loft ceiling is high enough so that you can stand properly. A person up to like like 180 centimeters can pretty much stand up here. Usually we found that in Korea, loft apartments are only high enough so that you can just sleep or just sit up on your bed. But yeah, this apartment just blew our expectations. It blew our minds. It was beautiful. And Emily's graciously walking down the stairs, just feeling like a royal. 
After seeing this place, we were just like, this is the place. And we immediately put in a deposit so that no one else could take it and sign the necessary papers to make it ours. Hey guys, so today is packing day and we are moving to our new place tomorrow, but we haven't packed at all yet. And we're gonna spend the whole day today packing. So yeah, kind of have to get moving because we have a lot of stuff. And the movers came by yesterday to give us some boxes and cartons and all of that stuff so that we can pack up this place um, and then they'll help us move everything tomorrow. Emily is at work right now, but she's gonna be back at 12. It's like 11 a.m. right now. So she's gonna be back in about an hour, but I'm gonna start packing first and then she'll join me afterwards to help pack. Oh, and also my mom and grandma are here to help Emily and I move. So um, that's super nice. I'm super, super grateful because we do have a lot of stuff and a lot of things that need to be packed and they've just been a great help to us. So here are the boxes that the movers came with. We can actually pay the movers to pack for you, but we wanted to pack our own stuff. So and it's also a lot cheaper if you do pack your own stuff and then they just deliver these boxes reusable boxes to your home a couple of days before you move so that you are prepared and yeah it's super convenient i'm gonna head in and start packing with all of these <laughs> This is all the stuff that we've packed so far. We still have stuff over there on that side. It's a lot of stuff. Hi. <laughs> So currently we're on our way to the bank. Yeah. We have to go to the bank because we have to sign like documents and stuff to get our loan for the apartment basically. It's like a <laughs> housing loan. So basically um, um, since, since we're financing this ourselves, we can get a bigger loan to put in as deposit for a place. Yeah. So yeah, we're going there to Signed the final documents. We've been to the bank like two or three times back and forth with like various documents and filing out forms and papers. Yeah. But yeah, finally we're on our way to get our loan. So mm -hmm. super exciting. This means that we're actually really moving. Hopping Are you happy? <laughs> So we just finalized everything, all the documents and stuff at the bank and now we are officially ready to move into our new apartment. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank God we got everything done on moving day. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, we'll cut that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna go home and finish packing everything. We have a lot to do, so peace. Bye. You're driving me wild, you're driving me so crazy Got me acting out, got me trying to stay sober Wanted to your love and I'm out here hungover You made me want to take you to London, Paris Times for cherries, no comparing to you Hey guys, so we just arrived at our new place and we're just gonna give you a quick house tour and it's completely empty right now so we but just they're coming in soon with all the yeah stuff, the movers so just arrived so we need to be fast before they come in so this is gonna be our little empty apartment tour empty apartment tour so first off the landlord left us a little no notes and then they gave us some tissues which is very custom in korea to give tissues as a housewarming gift and then you have here our shoes and this is the kitchen they have a lot of like areas where you can like store things down here and yeah here's our washing machine and this is the stove area and then we have this as well which is awesome because we didn't have that in our old place and some area here too 
storage and storage down here and then there's the refrigerator on the side and voila <gasps> this is our dining area i guess we're gonna call it <laughs> and our large window love it um the tv that the landlord is giving us for free as well but we're gonna put that in our uh, bedroom. bedroom and this is our bedroom oh my god and we actually there used to be blinds here but we actually asked them to replace it to curtains because we love flowy flowy white curtains uh-huh i mean the bed is probably gonna go here hopefully it fits yeah we have a queen size bed and we're gonna try fit in here oh the and bathroom oh yeah the bathroom this is our bathroom our beautiful bathroom and it's, I love that it's super marbly and white. Yes. And the shower is really cool. The shower is here and then you can put like your shampoo and stuff on this ledge here. It's oh, going to be really cool. Storage. Shower. And the storage. Beautiful. Oh, wait, didn't focus. So we're going to put all of our stuff in there here. And then there's also the other side on this side, which is perfect. Yeah. And yeah. Now let's go right. upstairs. And then upstairs, we go up our stairs here, and we have our beautiful little balcony. It's made of glass, and it's so nice, and we have the whole view here. So much space, ah, super exciting. And this is basically going to be another room that we're gonna have, probably Emily's room. And we're gonna have a mattress down here, and there's another window here. Beautiful. Yeah. And then we have our Closet closets here. Space. So Lots box. of space. Yeah. Lots of nice space. Yes. Very nice. Yeah, Emily's very excited to sleep up here. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous of her, but it'll be cool. And then we have this space here, which is like, um, I think we're gonna try to make this sort of like our living room. Mm -hmm. yeah. Maybe get a sofa or something and have some sort of projector that goes here. Yeah. So we can watch movies. <laughs> so we can watch movies or something because we don't want to have a TV up here. Um, so hopefully we can figure something out that will work. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know if you can see over there, there's a little area here and this is our little makeup room super cute we're so excited about this place and then they actually gave this as an option as well so it's really nice beautiful. to have like a place for all our makeup because yes. oh we didn't never so look in much storage i looked in oh i never looked in this is my first yeah. time looking in it's so much storage space so we can organize all of our makeup here yeah all so of this it down be here really too. nice one more thing. Oh, and let's go down. So this is, up here is the air conditioning, and then we even have an air purifier up there. Um, it's all built in, so that's super really super nice. nice. And we have like a wonderful chandelier. And look, take a video of the curtain like billowing. Our curtain. Yeah, our curtain. The movers just started coming in, and they just installed the bed. I'm always eating some carrots. <laughs> no, I'm eating so much. Yeah, we're trying to still figure out where we're going to put our stuff. We have so much have stuff so coming, much. it's actually insane. It's insane. Like, we have no idea what to do with all this. Is, these things. all the boxes Woo! everything is I'm done still <laughs> you're still eating I'm eating everything. Everything. <laughs> so we're gonna live like this forever <laughs> I'm gonna sleep here <laughs> on the clothes because it's soft no. <laughs> this is all the oh stuff that we pack guys it's and a mountain we put they the were, TV like, here. They were like so annoyed that we had so much stuff. Yeah, they were actually I like, felt really bad. I feel bad every time we move because we have too much stuff and they always get surprised. Yeah. Because we're just like, oh, we're just two girls that are moving and then they, they just think that it's not going to be a lot. Yeah, <laughs> just and like one room. Oh my god. 
This is what we lived with in one room, guys. <laughs> We're so hungry. We haven't really eaten much all really? day. I'm not hungry. Well, you've been munching all oh. day. <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna start packing and cleaning up and we'll see you guys later. Stay tuned for our moving in part two video. Yeah. Where you're gonna see like everything cleaned up in this apartment. Yeah. But and for like now, maybe us going on shopping in IKEA or whatever. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it.